Welcome. Today, we'll be going through question four from the International Maths Olympiad 2005. Determine all positive integers relatively prime to all the terms of the infinite sequence a n equal to 2 to the power of n plus 3 to the power of n plus 6 to the power of n minus 1, where n is greater or equal to 1. Please pause the video here and have a think about the problem on your own before proceeding to the hints and solutions. Hint number one. So it is sufficient to only consider if there is a prime that is relatively prime to all the terms in the sequence. How will you go about trying to solve this? Are there any theorems that could be helpful? Hint number two. You may have seen that Fermat's little theorem, a to the power of p minus one congruent to one modulo p for some prime p, doesn't really help with the given problem. However, have you tried applying a variant of Fermat's little theorem? In other words, try doing something to this theorem to suit the problem. For example, what is a to the power of p modulo p? Hint number three. Notice that a half plus a third plus a sixth is equal to one. Now try linking this back to hint number two by considering the terms in the sequence. Hint number four. What is a to the power of p minus t modulo p for some prime p? Solution. We will begin by showing that no prime is relatively prime to all the terms of the sequence. From Fermat's little theorem, we know that for some prime p, a to the power of p minus 1 is congruent to 1 modulo p. We can divide both sides by a to get a to the power of p minus t congruent to 1 over a modulo p. Seeing that a half plus a third plus a sixth is equal to 1, we can apply this to the terms in the sequence to get 2 to the power of p minus t plus 3 to the power of p minus t plus 6 to the power of p minus t minus 1 congruent to a half plus a third plus a sixth minus 1, which is 0 modulo p. So for a prime greater than 2, the p minus second term is a multiple of p. And so is not relatively prime to p. Notice that we cannot have the prime p equals to 2 because then we'll get the zeroth term which doesn't exist. However, we can look at p equals 2 separately and we can see that n equals 1 gives 2 plus 3 plus 6 minus 1 equal to 10 which is a multiple of 2. So the first term of the sequence is not relatively prime to 2. Now we will move on to all other integers which are not prime apart from 1. Since all integers apart from 1 can be written as a product of primes, we can find a term that is a multiple of a prime factor of that integer, and so we can find a term that is not relatively prime to the integer, because they both share the common factor which is that prime. Hence, 1 is the only solution, because all positive integers are relatively prime to 1. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below, and see you next time.